hi guys it's Tana Mojo and today's video is one that I'm a little bit like stupidly excited to film because the story is really interesting and I've been kind of waiting until the right time to make stories about things like this because I didn't want it to come off in the wrong way but lately people have just been finding a lot of my old tweets from me in like eighth or ninth grade where I thought it was so cool to like drink and get so drunk and like party and like retweeting them and they're like surfacing and I talked about this in my last Q&A I was like dude I really want to tell those stories because I never have and it's like funny because I feel like people think that it's like a secret and it's like not a secret I've just never made videos about them but I'm finally decided that I'm gonna start making a few videos where I talk about like my first time smoking weed my first time drinking drinking stories smoking stories etc 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 so today's video is going to be the story of the first time I ever drank alcohol but before I start the video I just want to say a few things now I never drink to get drunk I think being sloppily drunk I think falling over drunk I think throwing up I think being incoherent not being able to control yourself is absolutely disgusting and that is not who I am at all now anymore I do not advocate for underage drinking at all in any way shape or form but if you're going to do it <laughs> don't drive don't take drinks from people you don't know don't let people make your drinks for you don't get drunk around people that you don't know or trust especially if you are underage that is not smart house parties never end well that's just some big sister advice I don't I think you should drink in small settings if you're gonna drink underagedly if you get somewhere and everyone that could drive you home or drive you somewhere is drunk call your parents they're not gonna be that fucking mad they will get the fuck over it because they fucking love you call a friend call a big sister call a fucking uber because we're in the day and age of goddamn uber don't stay places where people may take advantage of you don't get so drunk to where you can't make coherent decisions or to where you black out or to where you pass out and people can take advantage of you just be responsible drink water so that you don't have a hangover etc 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 I know that I sound like a mom but I feel like I can't make a video without talking about alcohol especially underage drinking without saying those kind of things because I don't want you to think I'm sitting here being like I was so cool this is so cool because that's because that's not at all how I feel about it this is just a story but I want you guys to be safe because you're my family and I love you so yeah and one last thing before we get into the video if you guys haven't already subscribed please make sure to subscribe it would mean the absolute world to me we are a giant family and I tell crazy stories like this all the fucking time let's get into the story I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a backstory so my whole eighth grade year all of my friend group drank and I did not drink yet I'd never drank before at all during eighth grade but all throughout the eighth grade year like every weekend I would go with them would all go to like someone's house and drink like they would either steal the bottle of alcohol I hi mom <laughs> or they would have someone's like older sister or like cool parent buy it or whatever and this was really normal in Vegas like everyone started drinking at that age pretty much I don't know why it's disgusting nor do I think you should start drinking as an eighth grader but yeah all my friends would drink but I did not start drinking until my eighth grade summer so that's where this story begins I decided throughout the eighth grade year that I was gonna make my first time drinking be over the summer I didn't know when but I knew that I wanted to try it then but I didn't have a school so that I could sit the night at a friend's house so I didn't have to come home to my parents like drunk or hungover etc 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 and so all of the names in this story are fake I just want to say that <laughs> so one of my closest friends we can call her Jenny at the time it was going to be her birthday like in the beginning of June right as summer had started and Jenny by far had like the coolest parents her parents would let kids come to her house and drink let kids come to her house and smoke they didn't care as long as you didn't drive and now that I think back that's not cool at all like your kid is in eighth grade what the fuck is wrong with you oh my god but obviously at the time everyone thought that that was really cool and I guess she did do it in an intelligent way in the sense of she didn't let anyone get into cars or go home they had to sleep at her house but like still not okay it was Jenny's like 13th or 14th birthday and she decided that she wanted to throw like a party like a giant fucking party you know we'd only ever just hung out in like big groups we'd never been to like a party where there was like loud music playing where people were everywhere where everybody kind of stayed the night like crashed there where hella people were coming through and like the address was being sent out like this was gonna be the first like big party party for all of us eighth graders so I obviously decided that that is where I was going to drink for the first time so a little bit more of a backstory all throughout my eighth grade year I was best friends like the best of friends with this guy we'll call him Mark and so me and Mark did everything together we were literally known as like Tana and Mark we'd hang out every single day after school every single day all day and I was literally madly in love with Mark and no one knew it I kept it the biggest secret I didn't tell anyone and everyone would always tell us like Tana and Mark like you guys should date and we both would be like no like that's weird stop and he like really meant that but I was like I'm secretly in love with him <laughs> and it was so bad I was literally madly in love with him I was obsessed with him my every thought was this guy and he was my best friend if that makes sense and not to mention he was so hot he was the bad boy every girl wanted him he had the nicest hair in school he dressed so good and he was like bad like he like smoked he like drank he was like into graffiti like Oh my god. <laughs> 
<laughs> now I look back and I'm like, Dad, I want the fuck. But like, everyone was obsessed with him. I was madly in love with him. So me and Mark decided that we were gonna go to Jenny's party together. We had been planning for this for like all month. Like we were so excited. And the day before Jenny's party finally comes around and I get a call from Mark's mom and she tells me, hey, Mark is in juvie. <laughs> Like jail, like Mark went to jail. And I guess he went to jail for like doing graffiti outside and he like got caught up or whatever. I'm not sure. And then all of a sudden my phone just started blowing up. Everyone was calling me like, Mark's in jail, is he okay? Like, do you know? Like I was like the messenger because I was like his best friend. And Mark's mom told me that he was gonna get out in a few hours or like the next day, that I would still be able to see him for Jenny's party, that he was still gonna come over. Everything was gonna be fine, whatever. So I wasn't freaking out at this point, if that makes sense. So I wake up the day of the party, still haven't heard from Mark, I start my period period for the first time, but that is an entire other video. It's Ugh. It was just a stressful day, but I decided I'm just gonna go to the party by myself because I can't hear from Mark And I was hoping he would show up throughout the night later that night So I get ready. I have brown hair. I look like Michael Jackson. It's really fucking casual <sighs> Why I thought it was okay to dye my hair fucking black blows my mind because I was so ugly <laughs> But I show up to Jenny's party and everyone's there. It's still daytime. So nobody's drinking yet We're all just kind of taking pictures dancing having fun waiting for everyone to get there, etc, etc So finally the sun goes down and we all decide it's time to start drinking and so the alcohol of choice I remember this so vividly we were all up in her room sitting on her bed with the door locked all sit She had like a California king bed, which I have no idea why like was she gonna fuck someone? I don't know We were all sitting in like a circle on her bed passing around this bottle of blue UV with like no chaser Just drinking it and this is why I didn't know that like if you chugged alcohol like it's not gonna hit you Instantly Tana like you have to drink some wait a second start to feel Feel it, like drink some more, wait a second, start to feel it. Like if you're just glug, 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 like you're gonna feel fine, and then all of a sudden it's gonna fucking smack you like a goddamn door, and you're gonna be so fucked up. But I wasn't aware of this because I was uneducated and I was my own fucking parent. So, um, yeah, uh, we were all drinking Blue UV, and I just kept chugging and chugging and chugging, and I totally thought everything was gonna be fine. You know, I'm like bleeding down my leg on my period, it, my best friend's missing, I'm secretly in love with him, he's in jail, but it's cool. I'm, I'm a drunk ass bitch. <laughs> so then everyone tells me that Mark is about to show up and I'm so excited. I'm like drunk. I think I decide in my head that this is going to be the night that I tell him that I'm like in love with him. Now that I look back, I obviously wasn't in love, but at the time I was like, I'm in love with him. I'm going to tell him tonight that I'm in love with him. I don't care if he's mad, like whatever. So then someone walks through the door and I think it's going to be Mark and it ends up not being Mark. It was Mark's best friend, Roger. <laughs> And I could make an entire video about Roger. I actually ended up like dating Roger later on in the year. <laughs> He was the first person I ever like hooked up with or like did anything like bad with but that is literally an entire other video because oh my god what the fuck Tana. So Roger walks through the door and he walks straight up to me and he's like I have to tell you something I don't know how you're gonna take it. I'm incredibly intoxicated and he looks at me and he's like Mark's gonna be in jail for like a few months and I was like what and he was like yeah Mark can't come tonight he got charged with something he has to go to court he's gonna be in jail for a few months you're not gonna see him for a few months and obviously I was so sad first of all just because this was my best friend that I wasn't gonna see for a few months and when you're like 13 everything is the end of the world on top of that I'm so sad because I'm so in love with him I feel like he's never gonna know now I was gonna tell him that night and now I can't tell him blah 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 so I literally <laughs> Look at Roger and I just start crying whenever you're really drunk and you're sad and you cry You're gonna cry like ten times harder, so I'm just like <sighs> Crying like this in front of this whole group of people and they're all just sitting like It's okay Tana. It's okay Everything's gonna be okay because everybody loved Mark. He was like the popular guy I was his best friend. They were like consoling me. So now this is where things get really really interesting Okay I am uncontrollably crying. And in this moment, Roger was talking to one of my best friends. Like they were about to date, okay? We can call her Stephanie. And there's so many names, I'm not gonna be able to remember all these. But Roger was basically dating Stephanie and she was one of my close friends. And Stephanie and I are still really, really, really good friends. And she's gonna watch this fucking video and she's gonna laugh so hard. <laughs> 
I love her so much. But anyways, at the time we weren't as close as we are now, so it was like a little bit different, if that makes sense. So Roger and Stephanie were like basically dating, and Roger is like holding me while I ball my eyes out. And Stephanie, she is the jealous type. So she obviously straight away was just so mad. She was talking so much shit about me. She was like, he's she's gonna fucking take my man. I fucking hate her. Blah 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 blah. And so she hates me, so I'm crying even more. I'm crying to Roger because he's like consoling me, etc. And so Jenny had an extra guest bedroom in her house. And because I didn't want to like be a party pooper and be crying in front of everybody, I was embarrassed, makeup was all over my face, I was on my fucking period, I was drunk as shit, I was a fucking mess, Stephanie was mad at me, my best friend slash love was in jail. I decided I would go in the guest bedroom and Roger came with me. And so we were laying in this bed and I was laying on his chest and I was bawling my eyes out drunkenly. I was literally crying for like four hours because I thought it was the end of the world. Everyone in the house thought that we were like hooking up or that we were like gonna have sex or that I was gonna lose my virginity or something like that. So Stephanie is running around like I'm gonna fucking fight her. I hate her so much. Oh my god, I can't believe she's hooking up with my man. Roger's a piece of shit. Oh my god, blah blah blah. And in reality, I'm just laying there like bawling my eyes out drunkenly to this guy because I'm in love with his best friend and his best friend is in jail. And so then Roger like kind of tries to hook up with me and I kind of am like, what the fuck? I'm like, you're Mark's best friend. How could you do that to Mark? Etc. So then I'm crying more and I'm crying more and I'm crying more. And so I come out of the room finally. I clean up my shit. Everyone's like, are you okay? Like, what's wrong? Are you okay? Like, it's okay. Like, Mark's gonna come out of jail. Like, don't worry. Everything's gonna be all right. And then I see that Stephanie has left. And I'm like, where did Stephanie go? And everyone apparently kicked her out. And she was in the street, like, flailing her arms and crying. And her mom had to come and get her because she was drunk. And she was mad and she was gonna fight me. And everyone was like, Shantana's already sad. She can't fight her. And she went home. And we weren't friends for a few weeks, etc. And then I started dating Roger. <laughs> Like Stephanie's best friend, please keep in mind, we were just like acquaintances, they were just talking. But the Roger story has so much more to it and it's an entire other video and if you guys want to hear that story, tell me in the comments below. But then, a few months later, Mark got out of jail and he had like a shaved head and like got jail tattoos and he was like obsessed with graffiti and he'd done crystal meth out of a spoon. I'm not even kidding, I was a freshman in high school and that is what happened. And he went from being like the hottest bad boy that I was madly in love with to like this fucking like drug addict meth spoon graffiti man and I was so sad but I was also dating his best friend and I never got closure and he never found out that I was in love with him really I think maybe I told him just like as a joke like hey I used to be like in love with you and I woke up the next morning with the most disgusting hangover ever and I still will never touch blue UV to this day and I feel like it's gonna be really awkward if uh, Roger watches this but I would love to tell the Roger story because he I, I for the longest time I thought he was like my first real love I like hooked up with him we like did stuff if you want to hear about that <laughs> and it was so weird but yeah that is the story of the first time I ever drank alcohol and about my thug first love I, that I thought was my first love and then I dated his best friend I thought he was my first love he wasn't my first love this girl really hated me and now she's one of my best friends and I drank a lot of blue UV in Jenny's house and cried about it the end <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this story it was so much fucking fun to tell oh my god if you guys want to hear about the first time I ever smoked weed or you guys want to hear about any more young drinking stories or you guys want to hear about the Roger story or anything else like that leave a comment below make sure to subscribe like I said in the beginning of this video follow all my social media check out my new merch release and I will talk to you guys in the next video bye